Hi guys, Alan Miramita, but it's Michelle Marie Delaney. I'm in the studio because it was starting to rain all day and I didn't go out. So, um, we are going to be live at 7 o'clock. Um, but I want to explain, um, for some of you that didn't understand what I was mad about. Two different things. And... They are different. So, let's start with the oldest of the two. As a joke, Brian K. tried to make it look like someone was trying to put me, lock me up in a nut house. Well, that didn't go well. The reason was, I got extremely upset and angry. And then he managed to trip up Krista... Which said some things that kind of made it like, oh, well, you know, you know, the, the fears are justified. Okay. And, um, and he went through and he handcrafted this mental hospital, which was a private organization that was not through. Um, any state mental hospital. Okay, it was all made up, okay? Even the so-called case manager was made up. It was all fake. And, um, of course, it sent me, um, scrambling to find out the truth. Me and a couple individuals that were working behind the scenes were trying to find out the full story. Um, I think the intention was to try to increase viewership on the channel. Well, it did, but not in the way that I felt was what I wanted the channel to be. Okay? Paris Hilton, as you know, and Britney Spears had also had problems with families and some more things. The difference was the families had the money to pay for that. Okay? Neither me... Or Lumi, or Perry Hilton, or Britney Spears. Okay? We're just not. We're poor. Okay? Um, so after we confronted him today, he realized how angry I really was about the whole thing. So, that's the first one dealt with. Okay? Uh, the second one was from last night. I was playing some Turtle Wow. Because Wiggy had sent me a kitty cat in the mail. I don't know how long ago she put it in the mail. Because unfortunately when I got the kitty, he was dead. Okay. <laughs> I think he should have sent me some money instead. Um, or some silver instead. It really would have been better. Um... So, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to take out the kitty cat or even feed the kitty cat. The cat was already dead when I got him out of the mailbox, okay? Then, I don't know how long ago the cat was put in the mailbox. So, um, but anyway, so he and Red decided to come on. Oh, let's play with Michelle. Oh, but while we're at it, let's go ahead and tear her game apart. And make fun of the fact that she's playing such an old game from 2004. Even though I enjoy playing it by myself. And I usually do. And I was having a good time. These guys were basically saying this game sucks. This game's for losers. And um, I just couldn't deal with it anymore after that. I just kind of just quit the game and kind of ended. Not quite rage quit, but... You could say is it wasn't exactly a very nice, you know, quit. It was just like okay, explain why I was quitting, but I I just quit, All right? And um, and I was still sore about that from today, so that's why I you <sighs> watch last night's game. You only see it playing for about an hour, okay. Now, I looked for a game called, uh, was it Dustborn? 
I think it was Dustborn, not Duststorm, but Dustborn. It's only for the PC, and it's not free. I mean, the demo is free, but unfortunately, given the way that this game's run on ARM on the VMware Fusion, I'm not going to waste my time to download it. And then get a nasty message from the runtime package saying, oh, I'm sorry, I can't install this game because this game requires an Intel IA64 chip, such as an Intel, um, you know, Pentium Pro or Celeron or the I, I1 through I7 chipsets or I9s. Because... Um, the Rosetta that Windows 11 ARM comes with usually literally runs games fine, even 32-bit. But unfortunately, um, it doesn't mean no good at all. Okay? So, basically, that's why I couldn't even play Essential Wow. Everybody suggests, oh, Essential Wow is great. Yeah, well, I can't play it. There's no way to install it. I look to find out the installer for Essential Wow, and I can't find it. Okay? There's no way I can overcome this on the uh, VMware um, Windows 11 ARM install. So I was like, and plus, of course, the fact is it takes so much processor time and resources that uh, it's just been a disaster to get it to work. And so I said to myself, now what am I going to do? Um, we talk about the truck, the front, American Truck Simulator. That truck only runs properly um, with the Xbox controller on a native Windows machine. It works fine on ARM, kind of, but the truck's motor is all wrong. It doesn't sound correct. The sounds are wrong. And... um. It's a little laggy because um, it's using um, um, sheer uh, or what they call unified memory. Something I understand because that's what the Mac Mini M1 uses. By default, it's unified memory. As does the Apple um, i7, i5 Mac Minis. Okay? So they all use... Keep thinking there's something in this plan, but there isn't. They all use something like that unified RAM. So I said to go, well, yeah. Um, so they'd rather, in rather install a game that's Mac specific. Um, I want to play Electrician Simulator. That's not available for the Mac in native mode. And it's not an electrician. I mean, uh, Derail Valley is not available for the Mac in native mode. Um, and I just sat there stunned that I. Absolutely could not find a game that I was really happy with. And so, I'm still looking for that. So, anyway, I just wanted to uh, make sure that we understood the real story about how everything transpired. Because it's so easy to forget this. And you... The way the conversations and live streams go, they can get really twisted and confusing. And some people may have no idea what you're talking about. And I just wanted to try to explain it to y'all. Um, now, um, obviously, some people found offense to it, the video, and they left. We lost two people, but... Well, I'm sure they'll be back because they usually do come back. But the thing is, is that this is not what I want to do my morning show. I don't want to have to sit there and get into a screaming fest. But I really, really had to clear the air and express my 
disappointment with what was going on. Okay. Um, we got a seven o'clock show tonight. Um, I got to get ready to make some dinner. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one of those. Uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna make. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna make. I guess I can make one of those pizzas this Saturday night. Um, I got some little stuffer pieces that could go in the uh. In the tostado, you know, they're just the sort of wrap the two pieces of French bread pizza, throw them in, pan for like 25 minutes or something, and be done with it. But part of me says, I want the big deal. And so, um, I'm thinking about making the big pizza. So I was disappointed about yesterday afternoon. Let me, let me tell you a little bit, but since I didn't do, talk about this in the video, let me just talk about it right now. Is me and Krista went to um, um, the phone store to pick up my phone. It wasn't ready because the man had just had surgery uh, about a week before, and he was not he was not in. Okay. And so, he, um, his wife, which ran to her, um, beauty salon next door said, oh, he should be in Monday. And I said, okay. And, um, so, next mon Monday of next week, we got to pick the phone up. I also have a hair appointment on the 12th of September. And obviously you can see my hair is getting kind of long and kind of stringy and needs a little bit of love here. So I kind of leveled up a little bit. But it, yeah, you know, it's it's just the nature of the thing. And of course, Rusty's here. Um, I came with the camera because if I do, it'll crash the computer because there's still a loose connection in this USB camera. Um, I have never, I never fully fixed this. Um, it's not the plug, because, um, it's just to desolder the, the super small connectors and the new one might be a bit of a problem, okay? What are you looking at? He's content right now. He's actually... I can show you with the other camera what he's doing right now. Um, yeah. So, this is me with the other camera. Now. Let's see. There's the cat right there. See the wrist ball is content. He's got his life together. Now he's going to get up and stand up and be counted. Oh, wait. So, this is me with the other camera. Okay. Uh, don't, don't move the camera. Okay. Um, so, I, I'm just saying this is that. Um, I had, um, you know, I was really looking for to get my phone back because, like I said, it's, it's kind of my favorite phone of the, of the three. The Android phone I have is a spare Eh, not really. It's old. It's crafty. It's it's obsolete. It works, but it's it really sucks. Okay, um, the iPhone 15 is fine. Get some chunk in your eye eyelids, Mr. Cat. Hmm? Um, the, it's it's just not really like impressive. It just isn't. You know, it's. It's got nice features. It could do 1080p. It could do seven, um, 480k. Um, for I mean, uh, 4k. But it can't do 720, and it can't do 480. 
There is the other phone can't. So the other one natively the 720, so I don't have to downscale. I just just shoot it straight up, boom, right off of YouTube and be done with it. Um which means it doesn't take long to upload videos. Plus it has square picture mode by default. So if I want to make square pictures for like thumbnails or albums, I can do that. Without much of a hassle. Which is a big deal, you know, for me. And I... I'm rusty. No one wants to see your backsides. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. So... That's the... Um, why I'm really hoping to get my phone back. But the... The, um... The screen protector on it long ago cracked and need to get a new one. And uh, my current iPhone 15 screen protector is cracked and I need a new one. Okay. That's why I send this. You see those artifacts in the video because the hairline crack is right in the screen protector is right where the camera is. Which means that the video doesn't look right. Okay. So, I got a record today. Um, I want to talk more about it in Silver Moon, but I will show it to you real quick. And this record is a bit different in its historical implication. Because this is the complete Dr. Demento show on original Westwood One recordings on two 12 inch 33 and a third album. Okay. And um, they have. Um, so, so it's two, so this here is how this is meant to be played, um, for the DJ. For example, you got a local break for one minute, 30 seconds, then the second segment, and starting, the first segment starts at, segment one starts at, what 16 minutes in seven seconds side one then you got a second break uh one minute 30 second break that tells you what the, what's gonna breaks are and you can see this is already used because you can see that the dj had checked off what was done and um and then you have the local break um then you have side two you have the segment four, segment three, side two. Let's talk dirty in Hawaiian. This kind of funny one. Boogie, by John, hand, hurt for the curly shuffle, jump in the saddle. There's a toilet and sweepstakes, big daddy interview. Ice, ice baby, big daddy, hamster love. All right, that one. Welcome to the jungle. Then the side three, you have that we are having a baby in May Eddie. So this is what a DJ would play. And this is um, using the two turntables. And then with their broadcast cards, you'd have the, um, what the local commercials would be. If you played it natively, you have your local break for like a minute. Well, for us, Silver Moon Radio doesn't have any commercials that are only one minute long. So... To play this for the silver moon like they intended, we can only thing we can do is where it says local break is maybe play our jingles and that's it because there's no room here for the commercials we have like for you no know, silver moon come on farms fast riders or pyramid cheating. It's just not enough time. If you want to play it similar to local break here, one minute, and then local break one minute, 30 seconds, one minute again, one minute, and then same thing on the other side. So 
this is, um, as I said, I didn't know they were still doing this at this time because I thought that they had long gone to um, doing things like using um, cassettes or broadcast cards or maybe even CDs by 1991, but that's not the case. This is an original Westwood One um, record, okay? So this is um, what you hear radio station puts on, and this is a standard 12 inch. So this plays in 33 and a third, you know, not 16 and a third. That was used to be a common thing back in the early years with transcription discs would be 16 and a third. That's at uh, 16 inches in diameter, which I can't play. But um, that's not the case here. So for cell remote, I'm going to play this, but i got to figure out what's the most efficient way to get it to play because it has locked grooves, which makes sense for a broadcast, you know, transcription record to have locked grooves because they figure you're going to be wanting to stick in longer advertisements and... Um, Could be interesting hearing. Um, along with all the other records, I got so many records we have. We still gotta go through the rest of the forty fives uh, for Silver Moon. So I'm thinking is that's what we're gonna do next is we're gonna play some of the other records like the Pierce records and stuff from Stan. But we'll play this record may not be played right away because I don't have time. I still gotta get to all the forty fives. <laughs> so. Not unless I want to do two Silver Moon radio shows on a Sunday and a, maybe another day of the week or something, like a special. I could do that, but that would be kind of awkward for me. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, that's that record is a um, special record. So it's going to be interesting to hear what it sounds like. I did play a sample of it. It sounds really good. It doesn't have a lot of surface noise in it. It really sounds good. So, this is going to be um, a wonderful, unique thing for you to hear. Um, this is, I didn't know radio stations were still trend, or distributing records like this in 1991. I think by that time, I thought by that time, because he even has the, um, the date of the, day of the program was four. Let's see. Um... Press the demo convention page two. Um, broadcast the week of July first, nineteen ninety one. Show ninety one twenty seven for broadcast in the week of July first, nineteen ninety one. Which makes sense. The twenty seventh week. Um, so I'm gonna see how that play. If we can get to play it for you guys here, that kind of. In the original spirit on Silver Moon Radio, I think it was 1610. I don't know how it's going to go, but we'll, we'll work on it, okay? I promise you. Maybe in some ways the other turntable might be better. No, because the other turntable, the corridor, would be more of a problem. Why? Because the reason it would be a problem um, is that to play it uh, on the other turntable. Especially the record changer is because it has locked grooves in between the segments. There's no way to cue the stylus easily. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. So, the other problem is that, that this monitors in a way, so you're not going to be able to see the, um, the, the record player in the second turntable because... You gotta get real close and you're kind of far away. Yeah. Oh. But maybe in between we could stick them. Um, the commercial, like, Silver Moon logo or something like. Or, um. Yeah, like. Yeah, intro or jingle right between side. Or record one and record two, side one and side two. Yeah, that would work. You know, we'll try. So, I just wanted to take the time just to try to clear the air about the situation with Brian K and Red 
from yesterday and at the end a few days before because I wanted to make sure that no one else gets confused anymore about it. So for now, I want to thank you for watching this. Tomorrow the weather is going to be hospitable. Yeah, so we'll probably go out so to my show tomorrow outside comes again. At least I'll try anyway. We'll try. Uh, however, it's still hard to see in bright sun. And it's can be a problem, so I may not be able to see all your questions until we manage to park it somewhere and sit down and we can find some shade. Good luck. Um, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> we'll figure it out. As far as Carmen goes, um, I talked to Carmen briefly about what happened last night, uh, and she wasn't happy with that. She says, you always enjoyed the game. I enjoy the game. I enjoy the challenges. We may not be the greatest players in the world, but the fact is, is that it is, for us, it's therapeutic and relaxing. The one called Dustborn, unfortunately, I can't play, as I said, because it's not available for the Mac and the form. And given what happened last time I tried to install a non-made Mac program on PC, I I already had the program originally registered as a, P, a Mac game, so I tried to install the PC version on their arm, and I couldn't. And I tried to install Essential WoW, and I couldn't. Um, hold on, Misty, I know. All right, come on over here. Um, come on. All right. I didn't let Misty outside, but all right, guys, listen. I'm going to talk to all of you later. I'm going to upload this before we go eat dinner and and uh, everything. So see you seven ish tonight. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys.